Hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! Welcome back to... <coughs> Shit. Did, did you just call her, did you just call her show? Dude. Shit. <laughs> uh, you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh. oh god. Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> Watch out, toilet bowl man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> got I got, yeah. Wait, is he, oh, I have to shoot him in his tiny head. Oh. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> I'm coming at you. Yeah. Here, mm, here. I come to save the day. <laughs> I am dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't build me with guns. <laughs> Just a strong desire and an indomitable will. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I guess my armor is, is it, 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 it's oh, man. more acid or something. Look at this thing. Whoa. Yeah, seriously. Oh, and, Jesus. Okay, I okay. guess you can't get near it. So yeah, uh, to get back to the beginning, I was choking on a combination of Skittles and Coke, which I drink to get myself all charged up for Game Grumps action. <laughs> I'm glad you I'm glad you said. Drink Coke, which you drank. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, sorry, sorry. Skittles and Coke! Listen. <laughs> <laughs> the best combination. Oh, let's do it! Let's do 30 more episodes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, It like... makes the Coke taste like, well, it makes it taste like Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah, we, we were talking about boners uh, at the end of the last episode uh, of Philia. <laughs> Which one? No. <laughs> We're always talking about boners. That's a good point. Episode. I just wanted to ask you like a general boner question, which okay. is like, do you ever have days where like, no matter what you do, you're not even aroused. You've just you've just got like the the most savage of boners going yeah, on. Yeah, dude. And it like hurts. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like too powerful for your own <laughs> dick's capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Your dick just fucking went Super Saiyan for a yeah. day. And you're like, I can't do this. I'm dude. sorry, I can't help it. Your dick's like, what is this power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is or what causes it, but like, because it doesn't seem to be related to like, I, I've 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 had it after like spending a night with with a special lady, you know. So it's not like. It's not like the vow of celibacy boner, which is like, you know, you haven't done it in months and you're oh, sure. ready to die inside. I don't know if this is too personal. I fucking took a vow of celibacy one time yeah. when, I, when I was younger because I was like learning like this tantra shit and like you had to do that. And um, so I, it was four months of no sex and no jerking off. Uh -huh. I felt fucking crazy. <laughs> crazy? Like you, like you just go insane. You're like, I, you would walk to... You walk down the street and you're like, I bet, I bet I could just pick that car up and fucking throw it into the street. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know how to explain it. Like, you're like your testosterone is just through the yeah, roof. Yeah, like, yeah, just like it all like goes back inward and <laughs> makes you into like this fucking monster. <laughs> it was incredible Hulk style. I may have just overshared there. I apologize. Wow. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I did the same thing, but not, not to that extent. Right. Just to like see, a like a short period of time. Yeah. Sometimes uh, probably just because I was a, a nerd. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done that too. Um. Yeah. Like, it's 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 weird. Like, and then and then you'll see like just like I don't know, just an ad that's like sort of risque, and you're like, <laughs> ooh, ah, oh no, ah, e. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or what is this feeling I have inside me? <laughs> It's the worst when you know you can't do anything about it, mm. and like you realize how sexualized advertising is in general. Yeah. Um, especially like it happened when I was living in uh, Brooklyn because like they have like these bodegas everywhere, and those have like a Spanish slant to them, and Spanish advertising, like um, or Hispanic I should say because it was mostly like Mexican, it wasn't from Spain, but like Hispanic advertising, a lot of it is like soccer based and it has just like hot half nude girls, like no matter what the product is. Even if it's like parsley, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, I do want parsley now. <laughs> um, but yeah, like you just see like these incredibly hot girls, and you're like, no, <laughs> back away, uh, produce succubus. <laughs> <laughs> Is her name parsley? <laughs> <laughs> the, oh yeah. The, have you ever seen like, uh, uh, like Sabado Gigante? Uh. 
No. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. It's, I believe it translates to Gigantic Saturday. And it's like a, <laughs> it's like one of those like Univision TV shows where the guy's like, Buenos ding dong dilly dios. And like. Buenos ding dong dilly dios. And, and uh, yeah, it just has all the. Um, my, my, we feeling frisky. <laughs> On the go. And like the, the, um. The camera like goes in and out and in and out and in and out super fast and like there's a half naked girl and like it's adults dressed as children and being like ay 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 it's fucking insane um I can't remember why I was talking about that but <laughs> when I think that <laughs> we were talking about parsley is a girl's name I guess oh yeah yeah that wasn't that wasn't the connecting thread you know what uh is that what like the bumblebee guy from Simpsons is based on Bumblebee guy? Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> like, it just cuts to him, and he's like, he's in a Bumblebee costume, and he's like all fat, like, surrounded by half eaten sandwiches, and he's like, I el stomaco. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the funniest goddamn thing. It really is. It's, it's weird how, like, senses of humor kind of vary over different cultures. Oh, yeah. Like, because I was, I, I recently watched one of those, like, Spanish shows, because I was, I was. I was like at a car dealership because I had like a free car wash for my car and nice. I was like cool fucking I don't have to pay money for this shit for sure so so like I was sitting in their waiting room and it was like on Univision and then they're just like whoa <laughs> and, 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 and like everybody laughs and stuff and then they like get up and dance and shit and yeah. it's like whoa what is happening and yeah. like, I you know, you watch like the SNL bit where they like do that. They're mm -hmm. like, our next guest, and then they dance. Yeah, but they really fucking do no, that. No, yeah, you, you you watch SNL and you think like they're overdoing it, like that that's bullshit. But yeah, if anything, they're underselling it. <laughs> <laughs> it it's it's really insane, oh, and that's Jesus. one of the first things. Like, um, I took uh, comedy classes uh, at Upright Citizens Brigade like years ago, and um, that's one of the first things they tell you. They're like. Humor does not translate beyond cultural borders a lot of times. Like, there are certain things, like fart jokes. Fart jokes are like the, that's like the building block on which all humor is based. Yeah, it's kind of weird how that works. So, like, literally the only thing you can do uh, around the world that will make everyone laugh is... <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, I know. You go one, like, degree more complicated than that and you lose half the earth. <laughs> God, that's so interesting. It's funny, there's like, I think there were hieroglyphics actually that like... <laughs> fart jokes? Yeah, yeah, fart jokes and like, like Greek, uh, like <laughs> plates that they found and they've unearthed that are all like dick jokes and fart jokes. So you know what? Fucking, uh, FCC, the next time you come down on us for, for keeping it real... <laughs> We're just trying to appeal to all audiences. Yeah, we're just trying Isn't to... Isn't that what you want? Yeah. Isn't that how you make advertisers happy? I thought you wanted to build a sense of community. <laughs> Fart lords. Not cancel the show community. <laughs> Did they cancel it? It was canceled and then it came back on. Oh, good, good. Yeah. It's uh, it's an excellent show. That's uh, yeah, from what I've seen, I really enjoy it. Have you not watched it? I, I rarely get the chance to, like really sit down and enjoy a show. Yeah, well, we're always fucking playing video games. Yeah, that, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that, that really is it. I, I was just, like, catching up on Sherlock the other day. I've never seen that one. Oh, good? really good, yeah. Fuck, I'm sure it is. Is that where What's-His-Name comes from? Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, yeah, that was, like, when his breakout kind of... Could there possibly be a more British name <laughs> than <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch? <laughs> you can't even say it in, in like, no, like an no, American accent. <laughs> yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch. Damn it! <laughs> you boys watching that Benedict Cumberbatch? Damn it! <laughs> America. Oh, I fucking love that guy because like it's just, he's when awesome. He, when he talks, it's just like, ah, oh, say more. Just yeah, say more words. There is certain like, do you ever like listen to someone and their voice just like hits your ears the right way and you kind of like get chills because it's so nice to listen to? Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. Dude. For instance, <laughs> yeah, um, fucking Bob Ross was like that. Oh yeah. The, the painter with. Like, we're just gonna make some happy little trees, and I'd be like, he -he -he -he. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a happy tree. <laughs> I, I am a happy tree now. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, it just yeah. There's something about the frequency of certain people's voice. And Jesus, that comes down pretty fucking yeah, it quick. Does. It's like salad fork from hell, salad fork from hell. <laughs> I think Benedict Cumberbatch is probably the opposite of Bob Ross. Like Bob Ross is all like soothing, and then Benedict Cumberbatch is like. Yes, well, don't listen to that. <laughs> it's true. That's nonsense. It's true. Why would I want to deal with that? 
<laughs> James Earl Jones is another so, one. So cutting. Oh, and, and Alan Rickman, too. Oh, yeah. Ronald Weasley. <laughs> <laughs> that Potter boy. <laughs> he's, he's awesome. A lot of those, like, um, like Shakespearean trained actors just have that amazing voice that, like, uh, I can't get there. It's just like an octave lower than Shakespearean trained, tra yeah. trained by Albus Shakespeare. Yeah, Ted Shakespeare. Of the <laughs> Ooh, what's going on, everybody? I'm Ted Shakespeare. Uh... For first rule of acting is you have to feel. What light beyond <laughs> this fucking window breaks? <laughs> Next time on Steam Train, it's the East. This is Game oh, Grumps. Wait, fuck.